Good morning, guys. Um, we're going to Golden Nugget. Just gonna make a quick little flea market video for us, for you guys. We're at It's Nuts. Dave picked up some coffee. Yo, yeah, good morning. Uh -oh. <laughs> we're coming back here for breakfast just because this is where I normally eat. Sounds good to me. But after the market. Only if we sell something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this place is great. We have an okay load, load today, so we'll see how we do. Oh yeah, stay tuned. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Golden misery ahead. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. There were these mysterious sounds. Good old golden nugget. Well, they're talking 50 degrees today, so everybody and their mom showed up. Yep. But there really was a concentrated amount of mysterious illnesses. There may also be a psychological component or a stress component. Everybody should check out Dave over here in that red Ford 50. He's got some great stories. Including people who think that these events have been manipulated for political purposes, who are convinced that something real... And insidiously, hey, that guy with the hat, he's always here for an enemy who would manipulate <laughs> <laughs> these mysterious illnesses for huh? political purposes. Uh, and what would the purpose be? Oh. President Trump came to office, obviously <laughs> vowing that he was going to get rid of what he saw as a bad deal that President Obama. I was putting stuff out, but I wish I showed you guys. Um, <clears throat> like when we pulled up, we got swarmed, so they've already sold a bunch of stuff. But yeah, Golden Nugget's great for this type of stuff. Like antique things and non non toy related. Oh hey guys. What are you doing laying around on the floor? But yeah, I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll take a quick walk around to show you guys what's going on here. Man, I haven't been to Golden Nugget in a while. All right, let's do this. So I'm, I'm glad that guy uh, wanted to tailgate me, and I didn't want to tailgate you. That's not, you know, I can just let him involve with him. Right. And I pull over there Everything's pretty regular way. for people from, you know, who are in a hurry to get in front. And I'm sure that happens a lot. But online, there's... <laughs> How much is this money? Uh, for you, since I haven't seen you in <laughs> forever. I, I got a pair of you. This is the other one from. from uh, I'll do 15 for the pair or $10 for one. Yeah, well, now the, this bag was all. Oh, here's another. I gotta get a quarter since it's got, a, it's got the box. Mm -hmm. Man, these robots are popping up everywhere. They are cool, but big. Man, it's been so long since I've been here. I used to sell here every Saturday? and then sell at Columbus every Sunday. Yeah, today's Wednesday, so it's a dealer day here. I know. pisses me off. I get it. I just like to be outside. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I need a belt. I'll check it out later. Ooh, a dollar table. All of you aspiring jewelry makers look at this dollar table all the things you could get for a dollar
Hey, hey. <laughs> Gotta say, the vendors here are usually much nicer. No, it's just like the ones they have. Uh, it's you? How much are these? Oh, four dollars. Four dollars? I picked those glasses up. How cool is that? Ooh. I'm looking for Doors Records. Mm, I don't know about 10 bucks though. How you doing? <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. Hi guys. Hi. Uh oh. It's a nice cluster here. Hey, Russian dolls. I like to burn those. They look really cool because they burn in layers. Some of you want that mask. Nice white tigers. Bruce, look at all these cameras. A lot of jewelry out here. Really, it's worth going. And you Hey, Anthony from Secondhand Daily. 
Told you about that jewelry thing out here. But yeah, I mean, there's so much of it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's worth coming out here to sell the jewelry. Hey, you like clowns? You like clowns with horns? There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll buy something. I like, I, I like, I buy. <laughs> Are you selling here or? Uh, my friend is, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you know Dave. He mostly sells antique things. Hope you didn't see me peeking at this van. Alright guys, I picked some things up. I'll show you in a bit. Oh man. Alright. Heading back to Dave's. Dave's all the way in the end. Yeah, we're only out here for a couple hours and we're gonna go out and get the scrapping. Hi Dave! Yay! I'm back. <laughs> Uh-oh, we bought something. I did, man. Five bucks. Uh-oh. Alright guys, here's what I got for four bucks. Hulkbuster, uh, whoever knows what what figure this is from? Uh, 2015 Marvel Hasbro. Leland, you might be interested in this. Let me know. Oh, let's see. We got some mini Megazords. I will at least double my money on these. I'm really digging this uh, Hulkbuster. He's like solid and not hollow. Very heavy. Maybe a two, three pounder. Alright. What are you doing? Oh, well, I was thinking we get a golf club, see how solid it is. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> Maybe there's some copper in there. <laughs> uh, what do you think, nine iron? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leland, making this little video for you. I, I don't know if it's a Build-A-Figure, to be honest with you. It weighs about, like, two, three pounds. It's like, it's got nice heft to it. Uh, let's see, let me show you the bottom. It says Marvel 2015 Hasbro. 
whatever, obviously made in China. I'm not sure how the Build-A-Figure is, but that's what this guy looks like, so I don't know. I think the one I looked up was the one that comes in its own um, package, so <clears throat> I don't know man, you tell me, but no big deal dude, if you don't want it, you know, I can still sell it. All right. Well, we started here, guys. We're back for lunch, like they promised. I mean, breakfast. I'm sorry. It's well, like still it's like nine. Brunch. Damn. Labor Lamberville was pretty slow. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh. <laughs> Boots better. Sweet. So it wasn't, wasn't a lot of money. No. I did a hunch plus 120 maybe I did at the market. It's not bad. I mean, for a slow day. Slow day. Yeah. I think we were there for three hours, two hours, two hours. I mean, on like a good job, that would take what, four hours to make sitting in an office? So that's not bad. Yeah, it was. No way to pay bills. Yeah. That's why we're here. <laughs> Yay. Good morning. Uh, yes. Regular is fine. Same. Yeah. It's nuts. It's a funny name. Look at that deliciousness. Some bacon. I don't know, that went boring. Well, it's technically the same stuff, just bagel. <laughs> it's arranged differently. I didn't even realize this was a thrift store. There's really not even a name there. See, it's just like a door behind me that you have to go up to. Yeah. Some of you want to know where it is. It's uh, right across the street from... Uh, hold on. There we go. International... International Academy of... International Academy of something or other. Of Trenton Charter School. And there's a big Trenton Times sign right there. Anyway, so yeah. Weird green door on second floor. They don't have much though. <laughs> We're in some thrift shop in Trenton. Uh, just a real quick visit. There's not much here. Some Furbies. Actually, don't even see any, any toys at all. Where are the toys? There's no way that's the toy section. Yeah, it is. Really? Yep. What a bummer. Yeah, all right. Ooh, David Bowie. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, it's all mostly for clothes. All right, from this mystery no-name thrift store, Dave just came out. Got a precious painting. Nice. Is it anyone? Don't know. Looks great, though. That's a good look. Yeah. Ooh, never seen one of those. And uh, it's signed right there, but you can't quite read it. Oh. Signed piece of art glass. 25th. Yeah, that's, that is hard to see. Looks great. How much you pay? $33 for everything. Oh, I guess the painting was a little high. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. Make it exciting. <laughs> it's worth money because it's a big dick with a tongue. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Leave it to Dave to decipher a sign. Worth, that's why that one's worth money. <laughs> Nance didn't see it at all. He was like, what? I wasn't thinking dirty. I'm sorry. Oh, you got a rogue tire. Uh, wow. Woohoo! Are these all the plated? Gold plated uh, ones? Gold flash. Wow. Only about six ounces, no. They said five to nine ounces of gold. So, wow. For all this. But I got it. I sold uh, the expensive watches out of it. And I have all the movements God. for some of them. Yeah. So. What this? This is like two feet deep. Eh, it should be about a thousand pounds. Wow. Just because, figure a 50 gallon bucket or a five gallon bucket is about 40 pounds. Oh, okay. But wait, there's more. I could have easily made more money by uh, selling all this shit on eBay. I mean, stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, they would have looked at all this as uh, gold filled instead of gold plate. Oh, I'm glad I'm not filming you right now. signs I picked up today. All right, let's do that. Whew. Uh, when Naz was at the market, this is all the fun signs I picked up. We cleaned out a... If you think this is a tongue, <laughs> then what could this be? <laughs> they, they saw the explanation from earlier. <laughs> oh, you have two of those. All right. I, I should have three of those. I, Kyle took one of each. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. And he took some of the slow children. Oh, uh, slow children. I'd love that one. Well, it's good. Oh, it's children at play. Yeah, oh. So. That's still fine. They're just really slow children. I got a bunch of uh, <laughs> people walking. Careful, we're walking up. That's it. That's it? Alright. Oh, Maggie said she's here. There she is. <laughs> there's Maggie. As you can see, there's always things happening when you're with Dave. This is right in front of his house. Fixing some wires. Excitement never ends. All right, Dave, I'm gonna get out of here. You got something else that's cool? Hold on. Oh, that's, what the heck is that? Climb around Found La Cui Birch Company. It's only one of those. It's whatever, it's something to open or close. Sweet. All right, Dan, see you later. All right, Dave, later. That was the box I found. I don't know if they could read that. Not Mark Jern. 